Hey everybody, I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to prep your shirt before you paint. And more specifically, how to reduce the nap on your shirt. Now, the nap is these little fibers that stick out that if you're not careful when you're painting will create uh, the illusion of more overspray because uh, your, your paint will come out of your brush and anything that as the paint travels, anything that it can stick to it will. So this process will uh, you know, eliminate that nap. So what I like to use uh, is the Wicked Transparent Base. Now it's a colorless binder that you can add to any of your uh, Wicked colors um, and it comes clear. It looks a little milky in the bottle but once you get it on the shirt and press it it's clear. Uh, it's not like the reducer. The reducer is used to thin out your paint, uh, create more transparency and flow depending on the type of uh, a brush you're using or the surface you're painting on. So um, what I've done is just filled up my uh, bottle here with some of uh, the transparent base and basically I need to just saturate the entire area of the shirt because uh, uh, what happens is, is as it, it lays on there and you'll see eventually we're going to head over and, and do a heat press you just have to make sure that you get all of the area. So what I like to do is you start on either left or right side uh, and just, I don't know, maybe about six, eight inches away just start spraying and open it all the way up. And just keep moving up and down on the shirt. Doesn't take very long, and then I'll move actually in a, a horizontal manner across the shirt. And just as a note, I won't do this if I'm at work, let's say at one of the shops doing production work, uh, where I'll do simple name designs, cartoons, um, you know, heart designs, things like that. Uh, in that instance, I'll wait until I'm done and heat press it uh, if I'm able to. This is for if I'm doing some custom work, okay, if I'm doing a portrait, or if I'm doing an automobile, anything that I know is going to require a lot of time and precision in terms of my work, and I want to keep it as clean as possible. So this technique will allow me to almost have like a canvas-like surface. So let me continue saturating. Now just as a side note, as I was moving uh, across and down, I was actually doing an overlap so the initial spray would come here, then the next spray wouldn't go all the way down to match, I'd do a 50% overlap. I mean obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's kind of the guidelines you want. All right. So with that done, I'm going to take my shirt off the board, remove over here. I've got over here, this is a Stahl's Hot One, uh, it's a clam style which means that it opens up in the back. And if you move in a little bit, you can see that I've got it set. It's warming up a little bit, but I've got it set at 375. So what I'm going to do is put my shirt under there, and I'm going to press it for 30 seconds per spot, okay? So basically, you want to make sure that you get the shirt. If you can see that here, get it as flat as possible. Try to get any of the wrinkles out, okay? And then just press down. Now, the tension of the heat press is set here on this knob. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's not too hard to close, but you also want to make sure that you get good, you get good contact with your shirt, okay? So I'm just going to do a shortened version. You should wait 30 seconds for this, all right? So let's pretend we've got 30 seconds. Then I'm going to rotate this over this way. Okay. I'm going to heat set that second part of it. And again, you want to make sure that you cover all aspects. Now this went on wet. I went straight from my board over the heat press it's on with, okay? So again, 30 more seconds. Be careful for any type of wrinkles. You don't want to, you know, stick it together there. And then I, what I like to do is turn it around. Instead of trying to pull it all the way through, I'll turn it around so the bottom, you know, is towards the back side of the heat press. Again, press down 30 more seconds, all right? And then finally rotate it over to the final spot, which is over here. So, and down for 30 more seconds. So what this, again, what this is going to do, this is, um, again, the, um, the transparent base is almost used as a, a protective coating, if you will, uh, once you mix it in with your Wicked Colors. Uh, you can use it, um, you know, ha uh, through your project if you want to uh, keep it uh, clean. Like I said, I like to use it pre-project, uh, just to give me that nice, smooth finish. All right, so now, and let me, let's take a walk back over here. I'll show you kind of an end result. Uh, of what you can achieve with it. Now I did do a demonstration of this oh, a while ago on doing the hair. I now have a finished piece. I mean I finished it a long time ago. But if you come in closely you can see, especially like in here through the airbrushes, 
look at how clean that line work is. There's no oh, uh, overspray. There's no uh, kind of nap that you can see that's built up. <laughs> Very clean. Uh, and again, you can you can treat you know your T-shirt kind of like a canvas, if you will, and you can and you can get it uh, you know to that quality. So. Uh, that's about all I've got to say on shirt prep today. I'm going to keep trying to do some, uh, you know, uh, instructional videos mixed in, uh, kind of with demonstration videos here, and, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll get something out of it.